Hey, welcome back human beings to another video here on the channel. How are you all doing? Hopefully having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video on the channel. We've got another how-to video for you today. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I've seen a few comments asking about this. And I know that probably the majority of the comments are coming from people that don't actually play on PC. But there's a few requirements that you need to have before you can download mods for Ark Survival Evolved. Before we talk about that and get into the tutorial though, make sure to check out TubeBuddy to increase your SEO and gain more views while also saving time. Go check it out, there's a link down below in the description. That will take you over to TubeBuddy and you can download it for free and install it, add it to YouTube. Make sure you make the most out of your YouTube videos. Okay, so a few requirements before we get started. You can only install mods on Steam, Ark Survival Evolved. So Steam, and then Ark Survival Evolved. That's the only place. If you have the Epic Games version, even though it's on PC, Epic Games does not support mods, so you can't use mods on that one. And obviously PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox X, any variant of them, you cannot download mods legitly. Now you can, there's some backwards routes if you're prepared to hack your consoles. You could potentially get mods that way, but I do not recommend that if you don't know what you're doing. So first requirement, Steam and Ark Survival Evolved. Now the way that I find the easiest to do this, you're going to go to the library and as you can see I got Ark Survival Evolved in my favourites. You click on the game and you can go to Workshop. So we're going to click on Workshop. And it's going to bring you to basically the mod page on Steam for Ark Survival Evolved. You can go through Community, Workshop, and then search for Ark Survival Evolved. But I always find that a little bit more trippy. So once you're here, you can search for the mods that you want. Now, if you just want to see what's most popular, there's some really helpful tabs in this place. Ah, uh, look, Axeman's Cupcake mod. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Just below the highlighted one, which is most popular, you've got a list of most popular. You can see all of them. You've got Most Subscribed, obviously Structures Plus, which is probably one of the main reasons that you want this. I would recommend anybody that wants to install a mod to install structures plus it makes life a ton easier as you see i've already got quite a few of these most subscribed ones and then most recent i would uh, stay away from the most recent unless it's from a reputable person <laughs> It may break your save. Alternatively, you can click up here and search for the mod that you want if you know what it is. For example, uh, I like the awesome teleporter mod. So I'm just going to type in awesome. And awesome teleporters comes up right there. But you can get loads of other things. There's loads of mods. I mean, there's a ton. Example of one that I want is... Um, I think it's like a shoulder pet one or pickup pet one. Dino pickup mod. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. So it allows you to pick up any dinosaurs and they become essentially shoulder pets. So I just typed in shoulder. I knew what I was on about. Okay, so once you find the mod that you want, click on it and it will give you a bit of description. So it will bring you to this page. You can see some pictures, some videos on it, which is pretty cool. And you can scroll down. It gives you a detailed level of what you can do if you want to change any settings, the admin settings and all that, which is pretty cool. I want this, so I'm going to click subscribe. This item has been added to your subscriptions. Some games will require you to relaunch them before it will be downloaded. So we haven't opened it, so that's not an issue for us. So as you can see, it will start to download in the background. You can also go down to downloads to have a look at progress. Okay, so as you can see, it downloaded. Here it is. It just went through really quickly. Ark Survival Evolved Workshop Content, and it was only like 116 kilobytes, which is not bad. Trust me, your mods folder is going to be bigger than the game at one point. So we're going to go back to the game, and we're just going to launch it. Okay, so once you've booted up Ark and you're in, now depending on which way you go now, so if this is for single player, you can go into single player options, you pick the map that you want, and as you can see, you've got active mods and available mods. You're going to scroll down and find the mod that you just installed. Dino Pickup mod is the one. I'm going to drag that into there, we're going to load up there, and we're going to play single player. Once you come into the game, you'll see that your mods are available if they add engrams, for example... I've installed Safe Waters, I've done a review on it recently. You get the engrams in there. Now, I don't know if there's anything to do with the pickup mod. Ah, uh, there is. Pickup Relic is what is added, and that is level 0, and it's pretty cheap. Okay, so we've got this. Now we've got to try and pick up a dino. Is there anything around that we can pick up? Okay, so I spawned a Rex. Here we go. I'm going to open up its inventory, put in the new item that was added with the mod, which is the pickup relic. And there we go. Pick up. And now I've got a little Rex on my shoulder. Aren't mods great? <laughs> Uh, so this works the same as uh, any shoulder pet, as you can see. So it, it, it looks pretty cool. So if I was to double chuck this guy now, he turns into a big one. And then obviously you can just go back and you can quickly pick back up again. And saves you needing cryopods, essentially. So you can just run around with a little pocket Rex on your shoulder. I like the, I like the sound of that. A bit better than cryopods, I'd say. So that's installing mods over on single player. Uh, what about if you want to do that on a server? Well, I'm going to use three of the most common ways that you can 
start a server, two web hosted ones, one that you host yourself on a machine. And we're just going to go through that for you right now. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is actually on my laptop. And that is the Arc Server Manager. Now you run this off your laptop or machine. So if you have a dedicated machine in the house, like an old desktop or whatever, you can host your servers off there. And as you can see, I used to host a lot of my servers like this up until I recently started to allow people to join when I started paying for hosted servers. I've even got Axeman's Primal Fear server on this one because I downloaded all the files and all the mods so I could continue my series after we finished it. So, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> crazy that well, I thank him a lot for helping there but that's like it's like a hundred gig just there so this is the server manager now if we go over to Ark Ragnarok Hardcore which is a server that I done not too long ago I'm not going to go into how to set all this up but to install your mods you go down to here where it's got mod IDs you're going to click search you're going to wait for this to load which is the flaky part once the names load in you're going to click the plus sign you're going to have to wait for this to load again which does take a little while Especially when you're recording off this machine. Okay, so I currently don't have my laptop plugged in, so this is taking a long time. But what you do, there'll be a list of all mods with their mod IDs. The same format of the screen before. And then what you do is, in the filter box, you search, say for example, Dino, uh, the shoulder mod one. So you type in shoulder, and then there'll be a little plus here. So you just click the little plus, and then exit out of it. So I'm just going to exit out of it because it crashes. You click the little plus, and it will come here like this. You then want to click save. Close that. As you can see, it's very demanding software, and I'm not plugged in, so I'm not getting the most power. And then next to mod ID is the little download button. So you're going to click that to update all your mods, or you can click it up here when you first start up, update and verify. But I click that just so it does the mods. As you can see, there's one mod update. If I was to click that now and refresh that, it should have all the mods updated. So that's how you do it on Arc Survival Evolved Server Manager, which you run off a dedicated PC. Okay, so now back over to my main PC, where we've got two common web interfaces we've got gportal and nitrado i'm going to show you uh gportal first so we're going to go to my servers as you can see here we've got the server this is the complete arc saga which is the series where i go from the island all the way over to genesis part two and we've got some people on there what we're going to do is we're going to click on that to load up the page like this we're going to go down to mods and as you can see we've got some mods there uh, for that series and we're just going to type in the same let's go shoulder as you can see a pickup mod is there we're going to click install and it comes into here you then click active and you restart your server and it will automatically install that mod for you now i don't really want that so we're just going to remove it on Nitrada, a little bit different okay so i will blow a little bit of this out on my Nitrada one just because there's certain things that i don't want to publicly show because this is not a public server but on the trial you're going to press these three cogs here it's going to open up a second page where you can use the server you're going to go down on the left hand side and click on mods plus workshop this is one thing i don't like about nitrado over g portal is that you have to manually find the number so this server that we're running is a primal fear server and it's it's a private server but i'm hosting it in the cloud because primal fear takes a lot so what you have to do is you actually need to find the item ID. So if we open up a Steam Workshop in a different tab, we're going to go for the shoulder pet one again. As you can see here, Dino Pickup Mod. You're looking for the mod number, which is right here. Every mod will have this. Then you copy that, go into Nitrado, click on the end of here, add a comma, paste. You then click save. It will add a new mod at the bottom and then you restart your server and that installs it. Again, I don't want that, so we're going to get rid of that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install mods on the three most common servers, in my opinion, and on single player. Hopefully you have enjoyed that and you found it useful. If you have, make sure to like button, subscribe to Can Human Being, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a fantastic day.